Tesla is crushing the U.S. luxury vehicle market. August 16, 2022. New data from Experian has revealed that Tesla is dominating the United States luxury vehicle sector. Tesla's new vehicle registrations in the U.S. grew 61% in the first half of 2022. Allowing the electric vehicle maker to handily beat veteran rivals such as BMW and Lexus in overall sales. Not just in the EV segment. Experian noted that all major luxury car brands except for Tesla and Genesis saw lower registrations in the first half of the year. But while this trend may seem negative for the overall automotive sector as a whole, it should be noted that the sale of all electric vehicles saw a notable rise in the same period. This was true not just for Tesla but for other EV makers as well. Robbie DeGraff, industry analyst at Auto Pacific, noted that while Tesla's dominance is expected, the rise of electric vehicles from other automakers is an encouraging sign. Tesla's growth is expected, but what's more exciting to see is the fiery jump in sales for legacy automakers that have introduced new EVs onto the scene only recently. DeGraff said, according to Automotive News, during the first half of the year, Tesla's new vehicle registrations in the United States reached 228,989, a notable increase from the 142.543 that the company posted last year. In comparison, German luxury carmaker BMW saw a 13% drop in new vehicle registrations to 157,838 units. And Japanese luxury carmaker Lexus saw a 19% drop to 133,616 vehicles in 1H22. Experian's data did not just show that Tesla has taken the top spot in the United States luxury auto segment. It also showed that Tesla is still reigning supreme in the all-electric vehicle market. Both luxury and mainstream, Tesla currently holds a 68% share in the U.S. all-electric vehicle segment a number that is similar to the previous year. Tesla's growth has been substantial, especially in California, its previous home state. As noted in a previous CNBC report, the Tesla Model Y and Model 3 dominated in California in the first half of 2022, with the two vehicles becoming two of the state's best-selling cars, electric or otherwise. This was a notable achievement for Tesla whose California-based Fremont factory has also earned the title of the U.S. most productive car plant. Source reposted and summarized from Simon Alvarez at Tesla RT. My take I bet this is causing some sleepiness nights over at BMW and Mercedes. Tesla has world's seventh largest supercomputer. August 16, 2022. Tesla AI Infra and AI Platform Engineering Manager Tim Zayman recently stated that the electric vehicle maker now has the world's seventh largest supercomputer by GPU count. And that's even before the company deploys its custom Dojo supercomputer. The massive graphics supercomputer hints at Tesla's focus on its data and computing intensive projects, such as autopilot and full self driving. Zayman posted Tesla's new hardware on social media platforms such as Twitter and LinkedIn. In his post, the AI and Autopilot led noted that the EV maker is sponsoring the MLSIS conference. He then stated that Tesla had upgraded its GPU supercomputer to 7360A 180GB GPUs. This effectively makes Tesla's supercomputer one of the world's largest by GPU count. As noted in a data center dynamics report, the A100 GPUs are produced by NVIDIA, which, interestingly enough, was where Zayman worked prior to his employment at Tesla. Each processor has 80 gigabytes of graphics memory and boasts a memory bandwidth of 2 terabytes per second. That's some serious hardware, though such power and likely more is needed for Tesla's ambitious projects. Tesla's current supercomputer is a precursor cluster for Dojo. Interestingly enough, Tesla noted last year that the company's pre-Dojo supercomputer was already the fifth most powerful in the world with its 5.760 NVIDIA A100s. The company appears to have added about 1600 GPUs to the system since then. Or about 27%. Since Tesla's Dojo supercomputer is designed in-house, the massive machine will not be reliant on NVIDIA A100 chips. Instead, it would utilize Tesla's custom D1 chip which will be supported by FP32, BFP16, and CFP8. Dojo would be optimized for machine learning workloads, particularly Tesla's autopilot and full self-driving efforts. With Dojo in the picture, 
improvements in autopilot and FSD would likely be accelerated. What's quite remarkable about Dojo is the fact that its beastly specs are really designed to do just one thing. Make autonomous vehicles possible. During the AI Day presentation last year, Tesla highlighted that Dojo is a pure learning machine with more than 500,000 training nodes built together. Tesla also highlighted that Dojo is a work in progress. So even the impressive specs and features that the company teased in AI Day will be improved when the supercomputer is deployed. Source reposted and summarized from Simon Alvarez at Tesla RT. My take in they are using that supercomputer to help make their FSD and general AI. Tesla FSD Beta Update 10.69 still scheduled for August 20th release. August 16th, 2022. Elon Musk reaffirmed that Tesla FSD Beta Update 10.69 is still scheduled to roll out this Saturday. August 20th. Musk highlighted, once again, that the Tesla Autopilot AI team is doing amazing work. He teased that 10.69, otherwise known as 10.13, would be worth its name and probably worth the wait. During the 2022 shareholders roundup, Elon Musk shared that 10.13 would introduce significant architectural improvements to FSD beta. 10.13 we've been working on for a while and actually, what sort of happened is we've made some pretty significant architectural improvements so it's really gonna be more than 10.12 to 10.13 release. It might. I don't want to speak too soon. It might qualify for 10.69. Musk said, Tesla's FSD beta program has grown significantly in recent years. Currently, it has 100,000 plus testers. In his opening remarks during the Q2 2022 earnings call, Elon Musk revealed that the FSD beta fleet has already driven over 35 million miles. For perspective, Waymo, which sprouted from Google's self driving company, traveled 20 million miles as of 2021. Tesla collected most of its 35 million real-world miles after September 2021, when the company started expanding its pool of testers. Elon Musk is confident that Tesla will solve full self-driving by the end of the year. Tesla FSD has made significant advancements since the first time Musk predicted Tesla would solve full self-driving. Update 10.69 might be a big step closer to making Musk's forecast come true. This time, are you an FSD beta tester? Share your thoughts with me on v10.69 when it comes out. Contact me at maria at teslarty.com or via Twitter at writer underscore 01001101. Source reposted and summarized from Maria Murano at Tesla RT. My take can't wait to give new FSD a spin. Getting closer day by day. Elon Musk's leadership advice for young people. For young entrepreneurs. Elon Musk is nothing short of a defining character in the current business landscape. Polarizing as he might be, Musk has forged his legacy in stone as one of today's most prominent leaders. And his advice for young people is worth giving more than a second thought. Last December on the Lex Fridman podcast, Musk talked about how he would advise young people looking to lead. As detailed by CNBC, Musk advised young people to avoid being a leader for the sake of being a leader. In addition to talking about how people should choose a career and more. Don't, try to be a leader for the sake of being a leader. Musk said on the podcast with Fridman, an MIT computer scientist. A lot of times, the people you want as leaders are the people who don't want to be leaders. In other words, leaders who are self-centered or narcissistic want make as good of leaders as those who aren't in it simply to lead. Leadership should instead encompass humility and empathy. Musk says. He also added that it's good for young people to focus on the job ahead of them, trusting that good performance can lead to continued climbing of the career ladder. These ideas have even been backed by research. A study from the Technical University of Munich last year noted that highly narcissistic leaders can derail teams independent of context. A 2015 study published in the Academy of Management Journal had similar results, showing that humble and empathetic leaders often have a positive impact on their team. Musk also says it's not worth choosing a career to achieve fame. Instead, he advises young people to choose something that's a good fit for their skill set. Try to find something where there's an overlap of your talents and what you're interested in. Added Musk. To be sure, Tesla's products and companies have matched his background and skill set. But those aren't Musk's only focal points. 
just as Tesla's electric cars are set to reduce emissions for the world and make it a better place. Musk suggests maintaining a focus on benefiting society with your skills. I have a lot of respect for someone who puts in an honest day's work to do useful things. Musk said, it's very hard to contribute more than you consume. To try to have a positive net contribution to society. I think that's the thing to aim for. Source reposted and summarized from Peter McGuthrie at Evanex. My take there you have it from the main man himself. You should listen to what he is saying here.